Hi. Uh, so uh, today is 13th of June. It's over the weekend, and uh, I made a video on my uh, Nifty uh, Steel companies, uh, especially Tata Steel or Jindal Steel. Is where me today subeh ek video banaya, jo apko upper right corner me mil jagi. The one uh, the video which discusses more about Tata Steel and Jindal Steel and how am I going to trade and what are the important levels. This is all discussed in the previous video which you will find in the upper right corner. Uh, this uh, video is explicitly for sale as a steel authority of India. Uh, after I posted the video, there were a uh, few requests uh, for uh, Steel Authority of India, which I didn't cover over there. So this video is explicitly for Steel Authority of India, the way I see it uh, to be working, say, for the next uh, two, three days or at least this week, right? So one of the things I see from a very uh, onset, as I say, let's uh, do a monthly chart analysis. And, you know, Steel Authority of India was uh, trading at very high levels, at 300 levels, and then... There were severe corrections which has happened and 63 uh, was reached from a level of 300 in just a matter of few months. So this is a monthly chart. One of the very interesting things uh, which I can, the reason I came into uh, this monthly chart, maybe monthly chart is like hola because here I have a very interesting pattern or it's something like this. I will highlight a little bit. So Steel Authority of India. Agar ab dekhte ho, so it actually gave a very good breakout. Uh, it went uh, towards 151 and then it corrected, but it got support at 122 regions. This itself uh, shows uh, that you know this uh, people are actually interested in this company. And also, if you look for a higher time, uh, if you look for a monthly time frame, you can see that there is a lot of interest in uh, this particular sector in terms of volume so uh, there is a volume participation ye jo move hai, ye volume based hai aur yahan pe aap ek dekh sakte ho ye ek multi uh, month uh, breakout bhi de chuki hai uh, at 100 levels and it has never gone and tested these 100 levels so going forward i can say that 100 is a very good uh, base or now it's trading at 135 and so let's look for smaller time frames to understand what's gonna happen and uh, so you can see this is where the breakout happened and it has nicely consolidated within the 120 range and now is trying to give a breakout and move forward i think one of the interesting zones uh, which i see it uh, to be a uh, problematic maybe in the very near future and that might be a level of 137 and 137.5 now you can't actually trade uh, the reason i don't have any position in sale authority of india is because it's in uh, fno ban and hence agar main koi bhi position banana chahu in cash and i want to hedge it in options it's not possible for me and this is explicitly the reason why i am not trading or taking positions in steel authority of india so i will uh, be uh, i will try to be uh, honest and i will try to give a uh, understanding if of how i personally feel uh, the steel authority of india is doing so you see this 128 level it was consolidating between 128 and 122 uh, uh, for uh, some amount of time because uh, this we are on the daily chart and if i remove this particular thing we are already done with this analysis so right so in this uh, range it was a range bound <coughs> uh, since uh, uh, the mid of may and now it's the mid of june so it did a nice consolidation and now it has gone for a breakout but going forward i think 137 level is going to be a tough resistance for this script of course uh, uh, this is explicitly 137 should be somewhere above here and it closed at 135 uh, so uh, i think if i was uh, making a position if i was carrying a btst i would be definitely trying to book, uh, book at 137 uh, of course uh, these are speculations and please consult your financial advisor before making any investment or trading decisions aap apne financial advisor se baat karke hi aisa trading or investment related decisions le lekin meri hisab se since it has consolidated uh, uh, between this 10 points i think 137 is a, a very good resistance it may because of the sentiment of the market and because of um, 
the sentiment of the steel sector and because since this uh, company is so much well poised uh, there can be some buying or ye 138 tak jaye uh, lekin mere hisab se 137 is a huge uh, it should be a, reg a region Uh, where if someone is carrying a to trade from uh, this one uh, twenties or even if you're carrying from this breakout which happened in one twenty nine, so that would be a good re uh, region to book profit, as per me, right? And as per uh, the market understanding which I have, uh, I would be very much interested uh, for one fifty levels. But uh, as we have uh, seen that whenever it makes a move like this. it should go and try to correct and uh, try to validate the breakout here jo breakout hua hai which happened around about 129 130 ish uh, this has not yet been validated because there has been a single candle this is on a daily chart if you look for an hourly chart uh, exactly so i think 137 it will try to have a resistance over here there was uh, the good thing about this company which i can see right now is this up move was followed by some uh, very good pattern a uh, very good volume uh, but i think this was because of the sudden uh, sentiment uh, upliftment which happened in the last session towards the closing especially in the last 3 hours i have tweeted about it and if you uh, earlier and we made some trades if you want to have an understanding of how i was able to pick up uh, the movement of the steel sector before it started uh, you can watch the video which i have linked in the upper right corner mein aapko video mil jayegi jisme main discuss karta hu ki main kaise steel sector ki movement bahut pehle se hi pakad liya tha aur we were able to make some uh, 3 to 4 percent in uh, two counters tata steel and jindal steel Uh, वो वीडियो आपको ऊपर में मिल जाएगी सो दैट विल गिव यू एन आइडिया बट गोइंग फॉरवर्ड आई थिंक वन शुड बी एबल वन शुड बी आइंग द 137 लेवल्स ऑफ कोर्स द मार्केट सेंटिमेंट इज गुड सो देर कैन बी एन ओवरशूट टू 138 लेवल्स बट नो मैटर व्हाट आई वुड बी वेरी इट वुड बी वेरी मच इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर मी टू एटलीस्ट अराउंड अबाउट ऑल्सो इफ इट मूव्स अप एंड देन इफ इट कम्स डाउन सो आई वुड बी लुकिंग फॉर वन एज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग जोन for her reversal so main 132 apna sip entry karunga agar ye upar ja ke reverse ki aur agar yahi se reverse ki then it should be uh, trying to fill this uh, particular uh, region of 130 131 129 ye ek bahut achhi region hogi ki agar ye upar khul ke agar sell off aayi so it should try to get a support around over 132 and if not then definitely around this 130 region so this is all the analysis i can do from a sale perspective uh, agar sale mein fno ban mein nahi jaati uh, aur agar nahi rehti uh, from a position point of view i think uh, this 135 uh, ce and pe i would have sold both of them and i would have just uh, kept it open and i think this is going this uh, right now kuch 6 7 uh, rupaye mein hai so this will give you a very good uh, 13 rupees and i think that should be the range that uh, we should be looking at so in the downside i can see it's uh, going towards 125 and uh, on the upside it's going towards 145 to 150 of course uh, still sector mega is a news based uh, run which is happening and if there is some very positive news comes and if the steel sector starts uh, moving uh, you cannot uh, Uh, predict the upside so it can very well go and make a new 52 high 52 week high uh, but uh, agar koi news flow aisa kuch nahi raha aur agar if you are talking in generic terms i think once 37 should be a tough uh, resistance and from there it should at least try to correct towards uh, 133 levels and when it will come to 132 i am pretty sure there will be 132 to 132.5 i think there would be a buying and people would be interested if not then you can try for the next 129 level uh, no matter what i really doubt that uh, the 120 would be breached in this expiry which is on 24th and on the upside i can uh, i would be surprised if a 130 is pre 150 is breached but the chances of uh, getting an upside breach is much more likely uh, than the downside because uh, there are always uh, a lot of buyers and one of the very interesting patterns i see is this one 
इन द पास्ट जब ये हाई बनाई थी 52 वीक हाई देन इट वेंट फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग कंसोलिडेशन व्हिच वाज दिस इज अ डेली चार्ट सो दिस वाज स्प्रेड अक्रॉस एंड मोर देन अ मंथ राइट एंड सिमिलरली हियर दिस मेड अ हाई ऑन द टेंथ एंड नाउ दिस हैज बीन मोर देन अ मंथ बट स्टिल इट्स नॉट नियर टू दिस वन सो आई पर्सनली uh you know uh would not be that much of an optimistic uh on sale uh for the very simple reason that uh, if there was no news flow uh then it um, doesn't actually look that much of a stronger stock to me uh but uh, definitely right now the sentiments are very high for steel and you can very well expect something on the lines of this where a very soon movement will come and it will uh, break the top and it will make up move so this is the difference that this happens when there is a lack of uh, sentiment and this is when there is a uh, sentiment and positive news flow so going forward i think since we are in the positive news flow section so i think a very good uh, consolidation has happened so this is actually a very good thing and right now is trying to move past 140 uh, so yeah no matter what this is uh, your trade uh, but for me if i was carrying positions from 125 128 129 i would be first uh, booking uh, targets at 137 and then i would uh, wait uh, for a dip if it comes if not and if it keeps on moving uh, then i will definitely keep on adding positions but uh, i'm pretty sure around about 137 and 137.5 there would should be a, a dip and if not dip at least a consolidation and that should be enough uh, to uh, make new entries first point is uh, many a times i have uh, told and many a times retailers are looking for weaknesses you should never short a stock uh, which is on the up move uh, like sale so my video is not about uh, creating shorts at 137 rather my video is more about booking your profits from 137 to 137.5 region and then wait for a dip to re enter so uh, that's all and one of the very interesting things uh, which i see right now is uh, there are some uh, three consecutive uh, green candles which is a very good sign the only problem which i have is if it opens uh, at 134 levels and if it is not able to take one th- take out 136 uh, very soon uh, just like over here let's go for a 15 minute or hourly chart so that might actually create a weakness and if a 134 is breached or if if the opening is around about over here and if it is not able to take out 136 so you can easily expect a dip towards 132 and this 132 would be a very good region as i said and the next one would be around about 130 uh, but i'm pretty sure that given the way uh, this uh, script has been uh, running since uh, you know Uh, and so the whole sector is running i think uh, we are definitely going to uh, get 137 and uh, if 137 is taken out then i will actually keep uh, tracking and i will uh, tweet about it in my twitter handle um, uh, so just uh, keep a watch and let's see of course these are all speculations uh, before after the market close so uh, uh, you know you should take it with a, a grain of salt and uh, it's it's not a a uh, very hardcore maths but what i can say is uh, about my mentality that if i was making positions here and if i'm still carrying 137 is the definitely the region where i would you know load off uh, majority of it if not whole of it so that's all folks hope uh, this uh, uh, analysis which i did for the steel uh, steel authority of india sale is uh, is uh, meaningful uh, one of the things i want to say is everyone was talking about the result flow and the movement one of the things uh, which i can comment very briefly is uh, agar result itni achhi thi so basically uh, moves like this uh, shouldn't have ha- happened kyunki uh, of, of course you did a gap up uh, but then uh, after two three candles immediate for uh, you know run should have come so i think uh, the market is uh, supreme uh, so i am just trying to predict of uh, what uh, i would have done if i had positions i have no positions in any of the steel companies uh, as of today i have booked all my profits 
if tomorrow it opens with a gap up and if it continues the bull run i will be much more happy to add more at a higher price than to buy low and then get stuck because uh, momentum trading is all about buying high and selling higher it's not about buying low and selling higher so ye mentality uh, is what a momentum trader like me or a positional trader like me has to always have and hence uh, this is all that i have to say about a uh, sale uh, hope this video was helpful and thanks a lot for listening yeah bye bye